Breakfast Club, bitches. You're a donkey. I feel bad. I really feel bad. No, I feel I feel bad. With, with, we were talking about it's Squid foul. Game behind the scenes, and we all finished it. We didn't realize our guy Nick didn't finish it. We Y'all spoiled don't it. Care. For him. I didn't know. I told you guys I all morning know. he didn't finish it. He walked I out earlier know. saying that okay, you can talk about Squid Game when I leave the room. But I didn't hear. We already him. spoiled it. That's right. Anyway, Donkey Jeez. of the Day for Wednesday, October 20th goes to a 43-year-old man named Kevin William Teague, okay? Kevin is from the Michigan area, and I swear in my old age, I just be feeling sorry for people. I'm serious. I used to come in here and just want to give people the credit they deserve for being stupid, but when I hear certain stories like this one today, I feel bad for Kevin because clearly, clearly something is wrong, all right? We have to recognize when mentally someone is not where they need to be, and I have empathy for those people. I just do because I think some things are just out of, out of their control. Some things are above them, and I feel, I truly feel like this is one of those situations. Now, with that said, Kevin is a home invader. Okay, if you wake up in the middle of the night and a stranger is in your house, doesn't matter what his or her mental or emotional state is, they probably getting shot. Okay, well, at least in my house. Facts. All right, now I will send him and his family healing energy after the fact, but hey, that person made a choice to break it into my house. I don't have time to figure out if you know if they're mentally unwell. Now, that has nothing to do with the story I'm about to tell you because Kevin broke into someone's house and he lived to tell about it. And in fact, he didn't just live to tell about it. He lived to ask the police for help. Uncle Shala, Brother Leonard, what are you talking about? He lived to ask the police for help after breaking into someone's house. Well, let's go to Newsnet for the report, please. A Michigan State Police trooper from the Cadillac Post responded to a breaking and entering complaint at a home on West Ridge Drive in Williamsburg. The homeowner reported she was watching television in the living room when she saw a man enter the room. She originally thought it was her husband. However, when she realized it wasn't, she screamed. Her husband came downstairs and told the man to leave. The trooper searched the area and located the suspect, 43-year-old Kevin William Teague from Williamsburg in the backyard of his parents' home nearby. When the trooper attempted to speak with Teague, he fled into the woods. AK-19 was called in but was unable to locate him. Later that evening, Teague called 911 to report he was lost. Dispatch informed troopers the last known coordinates of Teague. When troopers arrived, Teague flagged them down and he was taken into custody and lodged in the Grand Traverse County Jail. Teague was arraigned on October 14th in Grand Traverse County for one count breaking and entering without permission and one count resisting and obstructing police. He was given a $1,000 bond, and his next scheduled court appearance is on October 26th. There is a phrase, God watches over babies and fools. Babies, maybe. It's possible. Okay, God isn't a babysitter per se, but he will give the mother the strength to hold it down. But watches over, not watches. It's a difference, all right? The fool part, I don't know about that. Because, Kevin, I don't know if that was God watching over him or just the luck of the draw. Okay, it's great Kevin didn't get shot in these people's house, but why would God be involved in this? Why would God have sent this fool, all right, to do the, the, the break into someone's house and then have him run off into the woods and get lost? And then this man felt like he could just call the police because he was lost. Never mind the fact he just committed a whole crime. Never mind the fact he was in the woods hiding because of a crime he just committed. I'm going to call the police and tell them I'm lost. You don't think they're going to have questions on why you just randomly in the woods at this time of night? What you going to tell them? You're camping? Huh? You're hunting? Just taking a walk? Y'all do realize narcissism is considered a mental disorder, correct? Because there is no way you commit a crime and then think you are able to call the police because you're lost. If you're not a narcissist, all right? I... Honestly, I can't even continue this story until we play a game of Guess What Race It Is! Maybe this will give us a better understanding of this situation, okay? Kevin William T, 43 years old, broke into someone's house, lived to tell about it, fled into the woods, then had the audacity, the unmitigated gall, to call 911 to report that he was lost. Angela Yee, Guess What Race It Is! Well, I'm going to have to say he is Caucasian. What makes you say Caucasian, Angela? Yeah. Well, you know, we don't call 911 like that. And then he probably <laughs> said, I didn't know you couldn't do that, in the words of Dave Chappelle. <laughs> All right. 
Kevin William Teague, 43 years old, broke into someone's house and fled into the woods, then called 911 to report that he was lost. DJ Envy, Rashawn, yes. guess what race it is! I'm distraught on this one. Why are you distraught? All right, because it's I'm in the middle, right? I'm going to tell you why, right? At first, you're Dominican? Was, no, no, I'm not Dominican. I'm black. But I was thinking black at first because I can see... A black person getting stuck in the woods and then hearing animals and being like, nah, F that. I'm calling 911 to get out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But if we did something illegal, we just we just try sit to... Sit in the woods, yeah, dug it out with them bears. Dug it out with them bears because we ain't calling no police. I'd rather be with these bears than be in jail. Yes, yeah, so I got to go with Caucasian. Okay, well, I want Angela E and DJ Envy to know that you both are correct! Oh! Kevin William Teague is a Caucasian! Uh, he had the cargacity, the unmitigated white privilege gall to break into someone's house, run into the woods, get lost, and then call the police to help him. Mm, 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 mm. And his bond is only $1,000 for breaking and entering without permission and resisting and obstructing police. And he resisted and obstructed police without getting shot. Well, if you'd have said that, I definitely would I know, I didn't want to give that one away. Okay. Please give Kevin William Teague uh, the biggest hee-haw. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, let Kathy Griffin get some of that. Please give this giant jar of mail the biggest hee-haw. Chelsea Handler? Uh -huh. What Chelsea Handler at? Hee-haw, uh -huh. hee-haw. Hee that is way too much Dan mayonnaise. There you go. Any more? You good? Uh, man, for the culture. Why not? <laughs> Cracker ass cracker. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.